So welcome back to today's video. Today's video, well, it's not nighttime yet, but we're gonna. I've done some updates on my street lights, and I didn't film two of them. I didn't film two of them. I know I should have, but I want to show you the updates, and we're gonna show you tonight. So guys, let's get to the video. Well, guys, I held my promise. So we're gonna start with this one on the updates here on the upgrades. So basically, I had a new, I had a new pole. I had a new pole in my shed over there, my little streetlight yard area. And well, so what I did was, I got a new pole, took the streetlight off of it, and then mounted the pole above it, and then took down the old pole. It's a bit of a bad design one, but it works. It holds the light up. I bit in the hardware, but it still works. You can see it's higher now. It's higher, and it looks better with that pole and it actually mounts on the light see it ain't gonna go nowhere high wing comes it don't go nowhere for y'all let's walk around the back here let's walk around the back <coughs> hey my cough is cleared up well all right so it's really bright back here Reason I'm walking back here is because I like this light. So y'all, so, so y'all see in the installment video this light. It lights up this whole back area, which I love. It does need a glare shield, which I made a homemade one. I plan on installing it in that way. On the side there with that window. Because it needs one for this window. Cause it's awful when you're standing right here looking out the window. Coming through here, we got the high pressure sodium light. Whoop, I fell over. High pressure sodium light. And then we got a new one I installed the other day. I didn't film it. It's this one right here. I made. I took apart an old basketball goal. Took apart an old basketball goal, and I got the pole and the little poles and I all the bolts and made a light pole out of it. As you can see, this has to hold the fence post up, or it would be leaning. You can see it's screwed onto the little fence post. Then you can see I had to, I had to shim it. Well, I had to shim it because the pole was too thin. This one ain't labeled in my system. What well, it's it's in my system, but it ain't labeled yet. Cause I ran out of labels. But this would be number uh, I think ten. Yeah, number ten. And it's and connected in with PC1, Photocell 1. It's connected in with Photocell 1 here. Bit of a sketchy setup, but works. Photocell 1. There's number 2 randomly sitting there for when I replaced that. Or for when I placed that light or changed that light out with that one. I gotta pick this up. Because I want to show you the little updates I've been doing. I done my street light system here. I like this one. This one's actually my favorite. Cause it just it's, it's cool looking. Hell. It's just cool looking. And it's enough to where I can drive my cart underneath it. It's enough to where I can drive the cart underneath it. I don't know how tall it is. Definitely cool. I don't know how much wind it could take, but definitely pretty cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching today's video. Like, subscribe, and peace.